What's going on gamers? Today we'll be going over how to install Waterfall onto your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Many servers host multiple game modes in a network configuration. This can be done by using a proxy and hooking all of your backend servers into it. This allows for load balancing your player base and prevents files conflicting with each other when trying to run different game modes on one server. Our main main software that server owners use for proxy is called Bungie Cord. While Bungie Cord may work for some, others may need a more robust and stable version of proxy software. This is where Waterfall comes into play. Waterfall is another alternative you can use for your proxy server software. This software is made by the same team that develops Paper. Waterfall aims to bring stability, scalability, and more features to your proxy server. One amazing thing about Waterfall is that it is hot swappable with Bungie Cord. If you already have your Bungie Cord configured, you can simply switch to Waterfall with no issues. If you have not configured Bungie Cord before, we recommend taking a look at our configuration guide. To install Waterfall, first head to the, your Apex panel and scroll down to the Jar File drop-down field. Click it and then search up Waterfall in the search bar there. And once that comes up, go ahead and click on it. Once it's selected, you can go ahead and click Change Version. Then you'll need to click on Create a New World. And finally, you're going to hit Restart Now. Once this is done, your server should be up and running for Waterfall. Waterfall has a few great configuration settings that we'll be looking at. First, you need to go to the FTP file access on the left hand side, then type in your password or use login if you already have one cached. From there, you'll need to scroll down in the file area until you find the file named waterfall.yml. And on the right hand side, you're going to go all the way over and click on edit. Now that we're in, the first setting that we're going to look at is use Netty DNS resolver. This sets whether Netty's async DNS resolver is used for account authentication or not. By default, this will be set to true. The next one we'll be looking at is disable modern tab limiter. This setting will disable the tab completion that is in place for clients in 1.13 plus. This will be defaulted to true. Next is log initial handler connections, and this will set whether the not to log initial handler connections to the server. By default, this is true. The next thing that we'll be looking at is game version. The game version setting will allow you to set what are the supported versions that display to the client. The default is just a separated list of supported versions that the software detects on the server. There are many examples that could be, but a couple of them could be 1.14, could be also 1.15, and it could also be 1.16. The next one that we'll be looking at is disable tab list rewrite. This will disable tab list rewriting. This may help resolve issues setting player profiles when Waterfall is in offline mode. This is defaulted to false. Finally, we'll be looking at disable entity metadata rewrite. This setting will disable entity metadata rewriting in favor of sending a joint packet to the client. This will be defaulted to false. Waterfall is an amazing option if you want a more robust, stable version of a proxy software. With many extra settings and features that it brings, it is no brainer for any large networks that want to really dial in the perfect settings and provide a stable, scalable environment to work with. You can check out more about this at the highlighted section at the top of my tab there, and there will be a link in the description. Well folks, that'll do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.